Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to tell you a hack that I found out, uh, basically that the utility companies I don't think want you to know if you have a solar system. So that conversation is coming up. So if we look at my PG&E account here, uh, I just got the panels installed on February 1st. And basically, as you can see from, you know, end of January, I'm using about 6.3, about seven kilowatt hours a day. And then uh, basically on January, on February 2nd, once, so basically on February 1st, we got the panels installed. The uh, installer told me that they are operating. And so basically after that day, so on the second, as you can see, besides this day, I'll, I'll explain this in a second, but besides the third, you can see that my, usage is basically cut in half. So 3.74 uh, from like almost seven every single day. So if we go into one of these days, you'll notice that during the day from 9 a.m. to 8 a.m., sorry, all the way until about four, I have zero kilowatt hour usage. So how is that possible? Well, the possibility, the way that's possible is basically that my panels are producing even though I just got them installed and I don't have PTO from PG&E yet. So basically what this means is when you have your panels installed, make sure that your installer uh, tells you that they're operating and, they can, and you can do this. And so basically right now, uh, even though I'm not, even though I don't have PTO from PG&E, um, the panels are producing and they actually are powering the house. And so basically that's why you see all this just zero kilowatt hours during the day. You know, that's when the sun is out. Um, and it's from about eight to four right now because it's winter time. So the sun isn't out as long. And so as long as the sun is out and the panels are producing enough energy to power our house, um, you'll see this is zero. So basically what that means is the panels are producing more energy than we're using. And like if we were using more energy than the panels were producing, then you would see that energy usage during the day when the sun is out. So the only thing that sucks is because we don't get PD, we don't have PTO right now, is that basically we're producing free energy for PG&E right now because with one-to-one -one net metering or any type of net metering, uh, you get credits for the overproduction, for the production of energy you're not using. Um, and obviously that goes on your bill and then you can use it later, you can pull from the grid. So because we don't have PTO, we're not getting that right now. So that's the thing that sucks. But I think this is a little trick that's nice to know uh, from that time frame when you get the panels installed until you get PTO that you can actually use the energy that the panels are producing. You just have to be careful about it so you don't overuse the energy and uh, you know get charged for it. Or you could if you want. It doesn't matter. It's up to you if you don't care. So what I mean by that is if you have an EV, so like I have a Model 3, and so on February 3rd, I actually had a friend over um, and he was doing some filming for me and I offered to charge his car up during the day when he was here because he came out from uh, you know a bit far away. So as you can see on that day, just like all the other days, like very little usage during the day or basically zero. And then he was over from like one to three. And now you see there's energy usage during that time. So how this happened is because I'm charging his car on my NEMA 1450, so it's 240 volts by 32 amps, and so that's about 7.6 kilowatts of power per hour. And so he was basically charging the entire two hours. So, you know, during the day we were using energy, but not anywhere near as much as our panels are producing. We have a 5.2 kilowatt system, so, you know, for this time, maybe three kilowatt hours, a three kilowatts an hour is kind of sort of a general gauge that I use for this time of year. And so basically during that time, if we're doing 7.6 kilowatt of power from the uh, my mobile charger, you can see I still use almost four kilowatt hours of energy from one to two, and then 4.34 uh, kilowatt hours from two to three because the sun is going down. So basically the panels aren't producing as much. So what that tells me is during one to two, if you take 7.6 minus 3.9, we'll say four, I produced about three kilowatt hours of energy during that hour. And then about three-ish, you know, let me see, hold on, four and seven and three. So then about two kilowatt hours, 
all right, about two and a half kilowatt hours of energy from two to three as the panels are going down. So basically I used more energy than I produce. So what I've been doing uh, since I found this out is I've been charging my car during the day because it's now quote unquote free or prepaid from the panels, but doing it at a very low amperage. So based on doing 240 volts by 10 amps. So basically it's, you know, the, the charger is charging at about 2.4 kilowatts of power per hour, which is going to stay under how much we're producing per, per hour. And that way I can charge my car very, very slowly, but then I can actually take advantage of the energy that the solar panels are producing during the day and basically use that energy because it's, it's still mine instead of just giving free energy to PG&E until I get PTO. So I just want to explain this is a little hack that you can use if you're in between your installation and your PTO because sometimes it could take quite a few quite a while like especially if, if you have Tesla solar it could take you like three months to get PTO so that's a long time that you can take advantage of using the energy that your panels are producing um, you know without having the actual credits from the net metering so just want to explain that it's kind of a cool little trick um, I'm having fun you know charging my car during the day now and using some of that energy that we're producing instead of just giving it to pg e for free. So hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any comments. If you do, don't forget to put the comments in the, just in the uh, comment box. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.